National Youth Day is an awareness day designated by the United Nations. The purpose of the day is directly to draw attention of the government to a given set of cultural, social, moral, and legal issues surrounding the youth. The International Youth Day celebration has been observed over the years. Our friendly governor the Apoko DK Global, in his wisdom, has marked today for the celebration of this year's International Youth Day. It is therefore needless to say that we are all aware of the very purpose why we are here this day. Because today is a special day to celebrate youth globally. 
His Excellency, sir, it will interest you to know that we, the youths of Anambra State, have consistently, meticulously, and internationally aligned ourselves with your policies, ideologies, and programs for the state, especially in the areas of empowerment. These suits are playing a pivotal role in making the security, security policies of the state to work through our various outreaches and awareness programs. His Excellency, sir, recently on the 15th of this month at Best Western Melok Hotel Oka, the Anambra State Chapter of the National Council of Nigeria, in collaboration with the DSS and other security agencies within the state and our sister organization, Sohanese Youth Wing, Asatu Youth Wing, Organize the Anambra State First Youth Security Summit and address every security challenges affecting the youth. I want to say it categorically openly that you are the only governor of Anambra State ever existed that has engaged a high, very number of people, especially the youth, to encourage us, to tell us that we, have, we can do it.
for the use across the world. So today we celebrate the use of an Abra State. We celebrate their residents, their exceptional entrepreneurial talent, their famous innovative spark, and their enviable creativity. Among them, some of the Nigeria's greatest icons made their marks in their youths. Most of them who came from Anambra State were youths when they made their marks on the global stage. Our country's founding father, the great Zik of Africa, Right Honorable Dr. Namdasge, was only 30 when he single-handedly created a course in African history at Lincoln University, United States of America, and subsequently moved over to Ghana, where he lit the fire of nationalism and the earliest agitation for independence across Africa. Chinua Achebe was only 28 
when you publish Africa's greatest novel, things fall apart. Chubo Kadigo acquired two doctorate degrees in philosophy and political science and became an assistant professor of politics in Howard University in the USA before the age of 34. And at the age of 37, he had become the political advisor and strategist to the former president, Elijah Shemushagari. And amongst the younger generation, Shimamanda Adichie was only 29 when she published her classic novel, Half of the Yellow Sun. And at the age of 31, she was officially pronounced a genius by the MacArthur Foundation. I mention all these great people there because they were all young like most of the people here when they made their marks in their chosen careers. We also have great sportsmen and women, great entrepreneurs, scientists, historians, soldiers, clerics who made their mark at a very tender age. So Anambra youths have always set themselves apart very early in life. That was exactly, uh, that was exactly what the five girls from the Regina Party Secondary School on Richard did in August last year when they won the gold medal at the World Conversion Challenge at the Silicon Valley in San Francisco, United States of America. And that was also what the four boys from St. John's Science and Technical College School at Law did when they won the bronze medal at the World Festival of Engineering, Science and Technology in Tunisia in March this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Anambra youths are our pride and hope. They give us hope that our tomorrow will be brighter than our today. And that is why we celebrate them today. The theme of this event, I quote, transforming education, unquote, it seeks to underscore the need for a more qualitative education for the young ones. Education is a multiplier of development that enriches the lives of individuals and societies across the world. There is no better way to prepare the youth for a meaningful life than education. That is why my administration has continued to invest heavily in education. We want to give you our youth the best chance in life. Ndenambra, my administration holds the youth in high esteem. Right from inception, we have given priority attention to Anambra youth. That is why 52% of all political appointments by my administration go to youth. We have also made critical interventions in the lives of our youth, from the jobs we have created in agriculture, industrialization, trade and commerce, oil and gas, etc. While the big agricultural farms in Anambra North and South have created multiple, multiple jobs for our youth, the Anambra Small, Small, Small Business Agency, ASBA, has also created a pool of young entrepreneurs and industrialists across the state. In fact, uh, Anambra recently won an award as the best state that has supported MSMEs in the country. This award was presented by the Vice President recently. The award came in recognition of ASBA's support to Anambra youths by investing in their entrepreneurial dreams. Over 30,000 of our youths are engaged in construction of roads and bridges and in fixing of portals and in other regulatory agencies like uh, Ocha Brigade and Co. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to announce that in the continuation of that tradition of giving the best possible chances to our youths, the Ministry of Youth Empowerment and Creative Economy has trained over 2,000 youths on different skills like event management and confectionaries, computer management, software application, tiling and screening, making of interlocking tiles, cosmetology 
as well as the installation of solar appliances. Our people with disability are not left behind. Over 400 of them have been gainfully employed by my administration. In the Anambra, we shall do a few things for the youth today. We shall launch the Triple I initiative. Triple I stands for Inventor, Investor Initiative. Inventor, Investor Initiative. It is an initiative that focuses on discovering youths that have technovative skills and exposing them to venture capitalists that may wish to invest in their ideals, in ideas for benefit of the large society. We shall also inaugurate the Smart Job Scheme. This is an ICT program that aims to empower 5,000 youths by equipping them with relevant ICT skills and ensuring that they are absorbed by the private sector after acquiring those skills. Also to be unveiled today is the Youth Online Television Station which will expose and promote the creative industry of Anambra State. I've also approved the setting up of our Film Village and Creative Center. This will be handled by Com uh, Compass. These are the guys that fixed our digital ABS television station. Lebanese guys with a lot of experience. Everything you want in the film industry will be done in this village. And it will be the largest in Africa. It will serve an all-in-one center for production of Nollywood films, drama, music, and other art forms. And just yesterday, the Executive Council of Anambra State resolved to build two mini stadia in every of our 181 communities. What we intend to do is to give money to the Anglican and the Catholic uh, missions uh, to upgrade their fields, at least one each in the, every local government, to standard. That means regressing and uh, other works that will uh, create an enabling environment for youth to practice sports and other activities. In doing this, it is our hope that the sporting talents of Anambra youth will find greater expression and in due season we shall dominate the sports arena in Nigeria and across the world. We have already set aside this sum of 5 million per community for these facilities. <laughs> Meanwhile, work is progressing fast at a pace, at a very fast pace at the NYSC permanent orientation camp at uh, Umawolo Mboku. It is one of the priorities of my administration and hopefully it will be ready by the end of uh, next month. Today also we should honor core members who distinguish themselves with outstanding efforts during the service period. We shall be handing out merit certificates Computers and seat manings to these worthy campers, core members, for their exemplary service to their fatherland. In conclusion, I want to re emphasize my faith in the youths of Anambra State. History has shown that the youths of this state have always risen to their full height to represent the best of Nigeria and Africa and, uh, uh, and the world. And I have no doubt that in the next five years, some of our youths that gather here today will be celebrated on the arrival of the world stage. God bless Anambra State. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much. The Anambra State Government, Minister of Youth Empowerment and Creative Economy, Triple I, Government of Anambra State, Investor, Inventor, Initiative, Youth and Youth, youth uh, Television. The second one is uh, in partnership with Consolidated Alliance, Projects and Smart Jobs.
which is an IT based things, where over 5,000 youths to be trained to be independent and be in a position to earn uh, money in their own capacity and assist their families immediate and otherwise. Thank you. It's also earning the state award in a number of states. Congratulations. Uh, the laptop to help you move further and a big pause involved with HHA loser. <laughs> I also construct the signpost. And anybody that is passing along the Ongidi to Abatete, you will see a signpost in front of Adbridge or Piri Technical School. I was the break behind the the billboard. And um, I also taught the peoples on um, how to make liquid soap, um, how to make a uh, custard, and um, so many other things. And um, I also carried out uh, a visit to the orphanage home. I think uh, the name of the orphanage home is um, Excellent Love Motherless Baby at Togidi. I wanted to visit the less privileged. The iPad to help you, uh, the laptop to help you uh, program most of your activities, and the cash to go with it. So, congratulations. Oh, yeah, I'm brand new, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm brand design, yeah. Okay. You made it. Okay, Mike, let him uh, introduce himself. Well, good day, sir. This is uh, what we have a gold feature in Nigeria, made by Chuck Suwa for a reason. So, um, we are into manufacturing of vehicles, assembling of vehicles, and we have been working in collaboration with uh, Congratulations, uh, that's about uh, part of our youth's creativity. Uh, if this young man can make a, a best move like this, that will attract the attention of the Nigerian Army, then he has done great. Uh, so, wish you well and God bless you. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir.
Fantastic, incredibly good, and exciting. Today, that the youths of Anambra State now realize that they have a youthful governor, youth friendly governor, who is so keen on seeing us happy. Alright, uh, uh, does this represent a new beginning for the youth of Anambra State? Because I listened to your speech, I listened to the governor's speech. And there were a lot of promises made. Can you take a look? Actually, you can see how how he's defined this ministry, youth empowerment and creative economy. Means he wants to look at this this very ministry in two facets. And this is a creative industry, which is quite huge. And um, people don't really understand how huge this ministry is, how this this very um, uh, creative economy or creative industry. It takes a huge toll on the environment. Begin to bring the talents from our remote communities and we'll be able to identify them and make them useful. This is the time and this is the space. We say watch that space because it's going to be great. We follow our hearts. We pray and ask. God bless Anambra. God bless the shining light that we bear. We're the only ones to make her brighter, the only ones to make her better, the only ones to make an Ambra shine. With our sweat and blood, every breath. With trust in God, we will lift our homeland high. We'll be living togetherness. We'll build a land of progress. Lift the spirit of Anambra.